Alright guys and welcome back to more Danganronpa. We are about to do some investigate. I right. investigating? No, we have to meet up with everybody first. Hopefully they give us some free time to hang out with everybody before we actually get into everything. So I guess we have to talk with Kyoko here. Anyway. Uh, we gotta go find the others. Alright, let's go let's go reunite with everybody i want to reunite with my waifu i'm glad i chose her as my waifu she made it all the way through the end yes yes i'm glad i didn't choose chihiro because it actually turned out to be a guy <laughs> i'm so glad <laughs> all right so where is everybody my waifu made it my waifu made it my waifu made it my waifu Somewhere in the dorms, right? So they might be in a cafeteria, if anything. Hmm, suddenly we were greeted with... Ah! Hashtag parentheses. You again. Oh, uh, is he broken? I suppose his emotional inst 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 uh, instability reached his limit. Jeez, what the heck? I wonder what that was all about. I can't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah. Whoa. Is that Makoto? Yo, look at everybody's like, whoa. My waifu is in front. She wants to wife me, or she wants to hug me. You guys. Yo, even Byaku is like, what the hell? It is. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You s survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach. You know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? <laughs> Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? What's that smell? What the heck? That seriously stinks. Ah. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Yeah. Get away. Shoo, shoo. In a flash, my tears dried up. <laughs> he smells like a wet dog. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Mokudu yes. Munakuma. Explain what? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hmm. What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. Don't tell me, did he turn into a ghost? But... Does he look transparent to you? <laughs> That's just a silly question. Silly super, uh, superstitions. If ghosts were see-through, they couldn't lead normal lives. Aww. Uh, yeah, what about that occult, bro? I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me neither. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was off the ego. You saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Yo! Hmm. What was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world, but I did actually. Now that I think about it, I gotta tell you about this time when this girl on the broomstick came over to me, took me to the spirit world, and I became a spirit detective, and now I'm here again. I don't know what happens. I guess I didn't make the cut. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? I don't think I need to go to the kitchen right now. You stink. Are you rotten? I'm telling you. Rotten physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten. Ooh, that was a rap. Ooh, she's spitting rhymes at you. <laughs> Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. This smells so smelly. Super smell. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. I win. She seems happy for some reason. Some odd reason. Makoto. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain what? Hmm. It's true. 
Alright, here we go. I need to tell you all about the Clash trial last night. Huh? Last trial? In other words... We're going to redo Makuro's trial. Huh? Wait, seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like, I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't a killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. <laughs> then who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap <laughs> contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know? <laughs> However... But, by, <clears throat> but executing Makoto wasn't... The black end is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules said that only the black end is to be executed. The mastermind broke his own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed. Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Yeah, very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the master. Now it's the mastermind. <laughs> Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. Give me a second, guys. Hmm. All right, here we go, guys. There was more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win the time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery. But we've been looking all around this time, and we still haven't known or found out anything. Anyway, you probably guessed already. But if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh. Everyone. <laughs> I hate you. Who said you agree? <laughs> Who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? I'm fine living here forever with Master. In meanwhile, I want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> In other words, one decisive final battle. But... But figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Makuro. <sighs> it's pretty freaking tall order. But this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is right now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll find and solve all the mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I... I can't argue, or excuse me, I can't agree. What is it? Did you need something? All right, my bad. I, I got interrupted again. But anyway, I can't agree with the idea of working together with anyone. With everyone, excuse me. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, there is a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but the killer game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in the hopes peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Monokuna said that, didn't he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So in other words... If the mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, it would be one of the students here. And the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could... Probably murder Makuro. There's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words. But according to Munakuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing gang. <laughs> then the mastermind is. One of us? <laughs> Yo, you know. 
there was 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. It's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> there was 15 of us there at the very beginning. Add in McCurl and you get 16, but this person wasn't even in there, like. <laughs> so the mastermind would have been one of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Now I need to do I need to continue or do you get it now? <laughs> what? Saying the mastermind is one of us. No way. You can't be serious. We can't say that for sure, that's not true. One of might have just said all that to confuse us. True. Indeed. Certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind is being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. I mean, they're in ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. But if, but if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled them in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are. We wouldn't. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Maybe Monokuma was in was on autopilot, huh? In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, this sounds completely different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. <laughs> so, in the name true of true ending Spanish, mode, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. Oh shit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Everything is unlocked, huh? <laughs> How very nice of him to unlock all the rooms. I ain't going there. That's fine. The time for talk is done. We now need to begin our investigation. No free time. I wanted free time. I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. I can only rely on myself and the, the, the Togami blood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, Togami. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> he didn't take me with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> Without him, the rest of you are like coffee with cream. What? Coffee without the cream or coffee. What? <laughs> what? <sighs> With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. Uh, and now she's gone. You're probably gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. It just leaves me, Hina, and Makoto. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit powers to figure out the mastermind's identity. Oh my god. <laughs> Hmm. What about you, Hina? I guess I'll do the same thing. It means it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else, so she's gonna split up. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would've died. Makoto? That's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. So I figure at least... Here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us get out of here. So I'm going to go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> you know, it was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just two. Us two. Indeed. Let's talk to Kyoko really quick. So you're going to go off on your own However. too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we still can't work together. So... So everybody will come together in the class trial and bring all the information, right? I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. 
I should just, or I should just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground. Then we can get back together and share what we found. That's right. So then, I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. When it comes to that, all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny of the school. So the the Monokuma room and the data room, that's one of the biggest things I want to find out. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth by any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. But first, donuts. So that's why I have to prove, I'll have to prove the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this fool. Because his name is Makoto. A girl's... I know, it's a very ambiguous name. Makoto. Oh yeah, we get the hype version. We get the hype version of this song. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed McCurl, then we'll know who the mastermind is. Hmm, where should I start my investigation to figure out who the killer is? Alright, so let's look. Let's see. The headmaster room, the bio lab, the door, and the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, in the second floor, the drawings where the gate was down before. That should be up. I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. Places to check. Damn, we got a lot of places to check. Alright, so what we're gonna do is actually save the game. I cannot go on any longer. I knew this fight was gonna be a shorter part. I'm sorry. I should have said that at the beginning, but this is gonna be a shorter part. We're done for today, guys. So, I guess the next stream, the next recording session will probably be the last time we actually boot up Rompa Story Mode. So, we're almost near the end of the game. <laughs> we almost beat it in like under a week, which is amazing. <laughs> Like, that's amazing. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time to investigate the entire school to figure out the mystery. And then everybody on stream, I will see you guys later. Peace.